Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Skinny Dip Podcast. Happy Halloween spooky season. Ooh. <laughs> my, I was actually watching Halloween Town, and that was the, the noise. Me and my sisters binged it. So oh, my good. God. Love okay, I'm in, the, I'm in such the mood to, like, watch a scary movie. Alex, I didn't realize – because last year we talked about The Watcher. I was just about our, to say that. Do we rewatch that? I feel like is well, it appropriate? Yeah, Alex never watched it. So I was like, oh, my God, I – don't I watched it by myself when he was like at work and I was like we have to watch it today like from start to finish wait are you sure that's yeah. so unlike you guys I know he was like <laughs> I was like oh I've never seen it I was like what do you mean I would have I, I'm just, I was so surprised that like I didn't rewatch it with him so but I thought I heard that they're coming out with the second season no I think you're right but I don't know when it's coming out but I I do remember hearing that as well or maybe you and I had a conversation about it I don't know when it's coming out though but I think they are yeah, I was pretty sure that I heard that. So if you go onto Netflix, there's like a whole Halloween y spooky. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, I love Halloween. Me too. Me too. I just love I just love like hype. I just love really getting into the holidays. Like it's just for me. I'm just that it's person. Fun. Yeah. I know. I'm just that person. I don't have any Halloween plans, but I kinda I don't know I, if I do anymore. I thought I did. And now I just don't know. So we're gonna have to see how Honestly, the goes. like I'm I'm down for spending it inside watching a scary movie and like eating halloween candy and just like oh. leaning into the halloween spirit that way like th i love that but like would you um like wear like wear a costume during that or no no okay no okay. no I mean, it is what it is i mean um, I don't, I, no shame if you want to if i had some ears <laughs> in my house like cat ears can you imagine you're just sitting on the couch with your ears <laughs> I would do it. I know you would. That's why I'm laughing. Um, speaking of spooky, so can we just, before we like jump in, uh, let's talk about how spooky winter ugly is. Have you experienced winter oh. ugly? Well, I've heard people talk about fall ugly. Oh, I'm I'm in that transition right now. So I, I think, think I've been in that like actually all year. Oh, no. I don't think you're supposed to. <laughs> I think like the, the running <laughs> has made me ugly because oh. i haven't been able to i think it's more so just like my hair okay yeah it's like full of grease which is it's spooky. like grease all the time and yeah. i yeah it's so spooky like <laughs> when i take it out of this it's it's spooked down i've been wearing my hair up i mean consistently for like 365 days i love that for you i don't love that for me but for you i think it's great so i sent a snapchat to my sister's last or yesterday i was just I just didn't look cute. Like, I, I am very, very pale because now I haven't been in the sun really. Just going to lean into it. I just have, like, a huge thing on my face, whatever. So I sent a Snapchat to my sisters, and I was terrified. Like, it was, like, from down below. It was, like, just this round face, pale, some spots. And I was just like, wow, it is winter ugly time. But it's like, not even winter yet. It's going to happen. I, it, it, but it's the transition now. It's like this is when it starts. Like you're tapering off right now. If you live anywhere where there are true seasons, this is where it starts to taper off. You know, you start to lose <laughs> your summer glow. Um, yeah. You have to put a lot more energy into just looking like you have color to your face. And it's terrifying and it's a lot of work. Like I'm not ready for spray tan season. I'm not ready for self tan season. I have to be because that's – She's coming in hot, but wow, it really hits you. Wow. And I yeah. just think also oh, – I won't get backlash for saying this, but I just think also I just look – like my body just looks puffier <laughs> when it's pale. Well, there is – I've, I've definitely heard people talk about how like if you like – you get a spray tan, it does look, make you look more toned. Yes. I, I don't know what that is. Like the shadowing or something just makes it – Or it's I, like I, you're – I don't know, like because you're not, you know, bright white, like bright – yeah. fluorescent hospital white that like you look slender i don't know i just i was like wow there's a lot happening right now um so my can i tell can i say my recommendation already is that okay yeah go for it i think we can get so into it. my recommendation for this week i, I keep looking down because i have it on the ground but i'm just really not going to pick it up for you guys i'm so sorry um it's just so down down there that sorry, I, i'm really struggling i have like fur all over my, my are nose you good no. Oh, and okay. also, I'm sorry if I sound like a little raspy. Yeah, you a little... sound like a, like a sexual <laughs> rasp. Oh, well, I, <laughs> I've been overcoming some sort of sickness, so I just no. don't want to. 
Um, my recommendation is Tan Suticles. Oh, it's okay. A self -tan yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a self tanner. I've tried a bunch of self tanners. Um, and I just feel like this one smells the best if that's even possible and it's not orange and it's not it's very easy to not get streaks like it's it's it goes on very smoothly um so if anyone's in the market for a self tan i would definitely check that one out also if you have a self tanner that you like can you pop in our comments because i feel like i'm always on the hunt i love tan suticles but yeah. i just feel like i'm always like what's gonna get me to like looking like i'm in the sun without actually being in the sun um that's my recommendation i it's a little pricey and they have they come in kits and sets and i think if you were to buy a body set like a body and a face like quote unquote set i think it's like 49 dollars or something so it is a little steep um but i think definitely by far one of the better ones in the market yeah well especially if you're gonna go and like get a spray tan out of place yeah it's less expensive to do it at home so i think this year and this is gonna make me sound off the walls and if you come near me i'm just probably gonna smell like tanner all the time but um i think this year i'm going to try to obviously still do my spray tans and then maybe in the interim try to get spray tans twice a month and then layer on this gradual wow tanner. yeah it's yeah. gonna be a she's lot got, of work she's got a plan yeah it's i okay. do have a plan I do we have love plan. a lady with a plan <laughs> <laughs> a tan lady with a plan it's this me. is like one of those thoughts you're probably having like late at night. You're just oh, yeah. spiraling. As I'm like, you know, oh, my sheets are now going to be brown. They were white, but they're going to be brown. It's okay. It's going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. Anyway, that's my recommendation for the week. That's a good one. Thank um, you. My recommendation is a fall product. Oh, sure. thought it was fitting with this episode. It always is. Uh, I love going to Trader Joe's at this time of year. Mm -hmm. It just slaps. There's so many good little trinkets and fun <laughs> fall things there are a lot of trinkets but this this item i get it i think i honestly i i get it almost every year but this year i did get the gluten-free version because mm. we're on our gluten-free journey we are um it's the pumpkin waffle and pancake mix they have it in both regular and gluten-free i've had both the gluten-free it honestly in my opinion is almost better <laughs> really it is so good i just make these pancakes Honestly, I think I've made them almost every day during the week. Oh, my God. They are so good. So if you're at Trader Joe's, I recommend picking up the pumpkin pancake waffle mix, either gluten-free or normal. It's fire. Is the pumpkin flavor overwhelming? No. It's, a, it's the okay. most perfect oh. pumpkin flavor <laughs> ever. <laughs> But Alex and I like we well Alex like loves pumpkin. He's like, a this basic. Is, he's a basic girl. He's a he's a fall baby. Yeah. Like he was born in the fall. He loves the fall. Um, I Ironic, feel bad. You guys live in Florida, so there we is live no in fall. Florida. So there really is no fall. But like it is his time to shine. Mm. So I do indulge in like all different pumpkin things for him, and he loves this as a pumpkin lover. This is like he's like these are so good. Wife of the year award. I would say right now goes to you for treating him with that special. Oh, look at that little foxy bean. I know. He's like – he keeps on – I don't know. He's itchy or something. He keeps mm. rubbing himself on everything. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope to be the best wife I can be. Well, I think with the pumpkin, the pumpkin pancakes, you're really coming in clutch. So we have a full episode for you of guys. Sp spooky scary. Because I was – Spooky scary. I feel yeah. like I'm, I'm – um, injecting into you but um, inject away injecting into you yeah that's weird <laughs> but last year we didn't we didn't tell any of our own spooky stories mm -mm. we just we dived into what was our spooky episode because i was gonna say this is our this is gonna be an annual thing i, where, I actually think yeah. it's my, my favorite episode that we do know, all year so round fun. i just love it um last year we did the story of ellen greenberg and we did the malaysia flight um, oh, okay conspiracy. we told we did a conspiracy theory and a mm -hmm. murder story and yeah. then we talked about The Watcher, too, didn't oh, we? Oh, yeah. We did talk about The Watcher. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we did – so this is a little bit – I am I love all of our episodes, but I'm a little <laughs> bit more excited for this one because I couldn't remember – I feel like I've told you some of my scary stories mm -hmm. before, but I couldn't remember if we said them on the pod or not. And then we went on Reddit and did a deep dive of yeah. scary stories. And I'm not going to lie to you. I had to skim a lot of them because I was getting scared. Yeah, like, a lot I was of them are crazy. The and I, I don't know. Like some of them probably are fake, but 
it's right. still scary. Like you're still scared. So fake or real, like I, I yeah. still was like, oh my god, like when is Alex cutting home? I'm oh my gosh, scared. It was spooky. I mean, I do like you. I know you and I be- believe the same thing. Like I believe in spirits. I definitely believe in ghosts. Yeah. I believe in those energies for sure. And it sounds really cliche. Maybe it's just like a murder hoe, but true life is stranger than fiction. You know, like the things that happen mm. to people are wild. Um, so we're going to deep dive into all of it in our spooky episode. I was spooky. actually also had on um, Mike Myers yesterday, Halloween. Oh my God. Which is funny because it's not funny. Haha. But I mean, those movies are scary. They're so scary. So scary. Like, why are you so uh- mad, Mike? What's going on? I love, but the thing is, is that I love getting scared. Like I enjoy the spooky, scary things in life, mm-hmm. but then I take it too far. Right. No one like stop. Go t- I'll go too deep. I can't. Like I start, <laughs> I start festering and I, I go feral for it. And it's like, like okay, like no yeah. one to stop. It's going to be okay. I just <laughs> love scaring myself. And then I'm like, I hate myself later. I'm like, oh my God. But, um, all right. I'm going to dive into the first one this is real loose like our personal story yeah i'm gonna dive into the first personal one this happened probably when i was 12 so this is like a very Mm, i already don't like it (laughs) 30 second story it's actually gonna be 15 seconds okay i was with my mom and my sisters at wendy's okay in a town over from me and i went into the bathroom literally 12 years old i had to be and on the wall it said kill brianne Someone wrote in mark like in like big Brian, I'm red literally letters. Crying. It said, "Kill I'm Brienne." I'm literally crying. <laughs> so I- I'm gonna be crying this whole episode. There's something about scary stuff that instantly makes tears go to my eyes. I- my I hands are clammy. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so and scary. The weird part, you guys are probably like, "Okay, who cares? Kill whatever." But my oh, name is what okay. Is- okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> But my name is very specific. Like yeah, I've only met yeah. two other brands. In I've my never life. met a brand. I've met like Brianna's, right? Like, yeah. And I've only met two brands like oh, four years shoe. ago. So it's recent. And when I was twelve, I've never knew anyone by the name of Brianna. So when I walked into this bathroom, <laughs> a town over, and in big red letters, and like it was either spray paint, which also like it's giving ghetto, but it wasn't at the time. But or like marker, someone wrote "Kill Brienne," and I stood there, and I, I like I, I froze. I couldn't, I, I couldn't do it, and I ran out. And I think I, I obviously told my mom, and I think she said, "Okay, do you want to leave?" And I was like, "Yeah," and so then we left, <laughs> or something like that. I mean, that's scary when you walk, you're 12 years old, and you walk into a bathroom and it says "Kill, Kill Brienne." That's it's not giving welcoming Wendy's. What's happening there? Yeah. <sighs> It was pretty scary for a 12 year old. I'm not going to lie. Imagine just imagine. Imagine walking into the bathroom and just says, no. kill Renee. No. Like, how wow. awful. That's terrifying. Wow. You really <laughs> just hit it off strong. I am unwell. Okay. Uh, I really okay. should have brought a tissue in here. <laughs> my God. Um, okay. So, my first story is also from when I was young. I mm. think I've definitely told you this before, but. We'll we'll have the listeners hear it. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so when I was a kid, I used to sleep in this bed that I think it was my great uncle made. Like mm-hmm. he crafted it by hand. Um, and it was it was a hand me down. My dad slept in the bed as a kid. And one night, I think I was probably between five and eight. I, I can't mm-hmm. give you the exact age, but I got woken up from a dream or a nightmare of a hand coming out of the bed and hitting me in the face. And it was so mm-hmm. vivid. And I can still remember the dream like to this day. And I woke up and I got scared. So I went to my parents' room and I was like, I can't sleep. I'm really scared. Um, there was a hand that like came out of my bed and my dad like literally like went white and like looked at my mom because when he was a kid, he used to sleep in that bed and the same hand used to come out of the bed and mm-hmm. hit him. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So like my dad, like we talk about it like sometimes because it's just like so crazy. So my dad is like pretty sure that it's like my great uncle's spirit like lived in the bed and like 
But was it an aggressive hand? Like, did yeah. he look? Like, oh, why? Why? Is, I think why? it was almost like my dad said that, like, it happened to him numerous times. But after it happened to be the first time, my dad took the bed away. And, well, I was just about to ask you what yeah, happened to the bed. He, he like, took it away. And I think he either took it apart or burned it or something. Like, he, oh, was, he like, like got yeah. rid of the handcrafted. Yeah, he got rid of the bed. Wow. But my dad said that it used to happen to him as a kid, like, very frequently. And a lot of times when he did something wrong. So I think it was like, his uncle like come it would have been my great uncle i guess and my dad's uncle i think um like would come out and like scold him why is your uncle so mad i don't know it's terrifying (laughs) i don't like that i don't like (laughs) the fact that it happened to your dad and then it happened to you yeah so there's something there was something in the bed did your sister ever sleep in that bed no i don't know why i was the one who was summoned Mm -hmm. to the bed your spirit I think just like the younger kid like always gets the hand-me-downs no matter who it's from. Like I lived in hand-me-downs. Mm. I, I, never, I, I never mean, experienced yeah, I, that. I got a lot of like just second stuff for my sister. Second hand. Yeah. <laughs> but, you, got a, you got a haunted bed, mm-hmm. which is weird because if nothing happened in the bed, like why is your uncle so mad? I don't know. Your great uncle. Oh, I hope, he doesn't, I hope he doesn't visit me at night. I'm sorry. I don't mean to insult you, Uncle. I know. There, there is something like Alex doesn't really like scary stuff because he thinks that you invite those things into your life. Like, oh, I, probably. I love to watch, what is it, like paranormal activity. Mm-hmm. And he was mm-hmm. like, no, I don't want – I think that you invite those kinds of things into your house. You know what's crazy? And this is totally off topic and random, but I was actually thinking yesterday, I was looking at <laughs> – God, I'm so weird. I'm so sorry. I was looking at doors. And I was like, in, I was just looking at a door and I was like, huh. I was like, think about what this wood has seen. Oh, yeah. I get into that kind of stuff too. Yeah. Well, my house growing mm-hmm. up was very old, um, like over, I think, 100 years old. Mm. Or, yeah. So we, I mean, my parents added on an addition to like the top level of the house because we only had one full bathroom we mm-hmm. had a half bath downstairs and i tell you this half bath was literally i mean it was, it was yeah it was <laughs> tiny so we had one bathroom so my parents added an additional bathroom and when they took down the walls and stuff they found like old pictures and like yeah. letters and stuff in the walls it's, it's just like the stories that these inanimate objects have yeah it's weird it's wild to me is why I think that's also why houses fascinate me because I feel like inside every home there's just multiple stories. Yeah, I remember you talking about that before. Yeah, I don't know. I have like a weird fascination with houses. Okay, my next one is a little bit R rated. Um, Ooh. so it's spooky, but if you are a young audience or maybe you just are an adult and don't like to listen to this stuff, maybe tap away for a second. So this story was told to me by one of my old coworkers, not at our current job, like my other life. I before. know this story. So this story is so <laughs> sorry. And this story is so wild. Go for it. Oh my god. So my coworker was telling me how her cousin's friend, Long Chain, her cousin's friend <clears throat> was dating this guy. They were dating for a while. Everything was great. All of a sudden, you know, she started to get sick and she noticed that she kept getting this um, like rash type of like infection in her mouth. And she was like, what is this? Like went to the doctor, couldn't figure it out, kept coming back, kept coming back. Um, She finally got, I guess, like a physical or went to a different doctor and they tested her for everything. And the doctor calls her and says, so we got your results in. and." are you dating anyone? And she's like, yeah, I've been with my boyfriend for like five years, whatever it is. And she goes, okay, um, what does he do for a living? And she's like, oh, it's, it's, he works as a mortician. He works, you know, in like a mortician's business. And she's like, okay. Um, she's like, I don't know how to tell you this, but the infection you have in your mouth is a bacteria that you get when your body is decomposing. And she's like, okay. She's like, have you and your boyfriend been doing anything sexually? And she's like, yeah. Long story short, the boyfriend was doing sexual things to corpse and then doing sexual things with her. 
Mm -mm. and Mm -mm. the infection transferred from the dead body to her to Mm -mm. her mouth nope nope (laughs) when you told me that story I think you've told it to me a couple times because I the first time you told it to me was like a long time ago that Mm -hmm. I was almost like that can't be real yeah yeah and it is it is real it is real yeah it's a real story and I guess you know, did you like find like he he was like yeah. So I guess they obviously had to report it to the authorities because I don't yeah, know if you know this, but you can't do anything to a corpse. It's, yeah, that, <laughs> I don't know if you're not know okay. <laughs> One, it's legal illegal, and two, that's just plain mentally not okay. Um, but I think oh, he was my. admitted somewhere because he was doing sexual acts to these dead corpse. I'm sorry, but there is absolutely I would never <sighs> be able to overcome that. Oh my god, no. No. I don't think you would ever feel clean after that. No. How how <laughs> could you? And the wild, the like, Mm-mm. like, just when you think there's no link, right? Like this guy was doing this on the side and there was no link. Like there is a link because bacteria travels. Like that's the only type of bacteria you get when you are deceased. So there's only one I would be forever scarred. Forever <laughs> scarred. <laughs> so keep it safe. God. Yeah, it's it's jarring. I literally that's a story I will never forget. And I hope everyone else remembers it forever. I, I as soon as you said R rated and scary story, I knew exactly what you were gonna say because I will never forget that story. I was shook when I first heard it. Shook. Shook. Uh okay, so this this also happened when I was younger, mm. maybe twelve, maybe around there, mm-hmm. middle school age. And my mom and I were home by ourselves watching HGTV, one of our favorite things to do, favorite pastimes. Love it. Just enjoying our time. My sister was at some high school concert and my dad was away for business. And um, we had a dog and it was an Australian Shepherd, Tara, mm. RIP. Aww. And <clears throat> yeah, Tara. Um, so we were taking her out for last call and we were in my backyard and we started to hear these noises coming from what seemed like my neighbor's house Mm -hmm. there were like these deep moaning grunting noises and not a sexual moan okay right like more of a injured moan Mm. Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. and it's it definitely freaked us out but i was young so my mom was definitely trying to be like oh it's nothing like give the it's the wind kind of vibe and i was like oh mom yeah come on so then we go back in the house and um, we resume our show and I'm just kind of like, okay, whatever. And um, the phone rings and this is like previous to caller ID. Like we didn't mm-hmm. have caller ID. So the phone rings and I pick it up and it's the same noise that I heard outside coming through the phone. <laughs> this story no. freaks me out so bad. So I give it to my mom and I am – I am now at this point terrified. My mom is definitely freaked out now. Yeah. So, and it, I think it called a, a couple of times, um, like terrified, freaked out, like to no end. So my mom gets gets me in the car. It's nighttime. I forgot to maybe mention this. And it was just you two. It's just us two. And my mom starts to get scared that something happened to my sister. I, I mean, it's probably not like my sister was not anywhere there but as a mom like my mom's just like i need to get your sister right now so we get into the car and we drive to where my sister was we like pick her up my sister like at that point she thought somebody died because we were like this freaked out (laughs) and we pick her up and we go back to my house my my mom she calls 911 because she's like i don't know like what we do or whatever um and my dad was like already on his way home and I remember we were like all standing around the phone, like talking to the police officer on the phone. And he was just like, unfortunately, like there's not really anything we can do, like blah, 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 just lock your doors. And like there was no, we could never could trace the call back. Um, so I don't know like what that was. It sounded like my neighbor growing up, he was, have you ever seen the movie Disturbia? No, but uh, you can probably give me the vibe and I would understand. He just was like a single man, older, living in his house by himself. Um, mm. Definitely very like – had a creepy vibe. I don't okay. think he meant to be creepy, but he had a creepy vibe. Um, he just 
again, like all of our houses were super old. So his house was old too. I think at one point he had his elderly parents living in the house on Mm. like kind of their deathbed in a sense. So I don't like, I thought maybe like my mom thought like after we've talked about this, like years later, my mom was like, I thought it was maybe his parents and like, you could just kind of hear them or something. Yeah. Um, But the phone call is what really tipped it over the edge. That was just creep town. Well, because you Mm -hmm. have to know your phone number to call you. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so I don't know if it was a prank. Like I was really good friends with my neighbor across the street um and we were definitely like i was like a tomboy and we'd play like video games together and like we would like he probably would prank me but i don't think he would have taken it that like i don't i don't think it wasn't giving like was it during halloween i'd have to ask my mom i don't know what time of year it was this is actually a good time for me to bring it back up to her i wonder for sure i'm definitely that's definitely a memory she probably wants to recall for sure (laughs) definitely do that yeah no, yeah, I'll bring, I'll bring it back up to her. I'll freak her out for sure. She's- I will say, I think just obviously based on all the crime stories and stuff that I've watched, the stalker, you know, harassment type of laws are mm. really hard to enact. Yeah. And they're very – it's very hard to – if you're getting harassed by someone or stalked by someone – there are not a lot of laws surrounding that just because it takes a lot to prove that that's what they're doing. So I feel like that kind of falls in line with like the phone thing. If someone's calling you and doing that, yeah. imagine they kept doing it. Like it would probably, oh, take, I like that's like, why the police were like, there's really nothing we can do. Cause like they're not I can, like, physically hear, harming you. I can, I can still hear the noise in my head. Mm-hmm. Like what it mm-hmm. sounded like. It was so creepy. No. So I don't know. I mean, it only happened that one time. So we, thank God. But not I, for me. That yeah, is me for me. <laughs> and I remember being like super freaked out for a, a while afterwards, like thinking, I'm like, oh my God, I hope that never happens again. Just like creeped out. Yeah. It's a no so, for me. It's a no yeah. for me. Um, so the next story I have, I know you already know about, but for our people, speaking of stalker, there was a time this... <laughs> a few <laughs> years ago. This really gets me too. <laughs> that... <laughs> I don't know why we're really... stuff it. Yeah, it's on well. Why does it why does this like why do so scary we... stuff happen to people? Like ooh, it's ooh. so weird. I feel like our stories are kind of creepy too. Like I it's not giving safe. Um Mm-mm. so a few years ago I was commuting, obviously still into the city for work. I'm and... start crying again. I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> and I was at the time living at my aunt's house because she lives closer to the city. So I would stay there during the week and then go home and whatever on the weekends. And I – one day I was just standing on the train. It's like a raised train platform and I see this woman and she's just kind of like pacing around, giving very frantic energy. She's like tall, um, like reddish, auburn, deepish hair um, and so she's walking around, walking around. Then – the train comes, we get on the train, we sit down and I happened to be sitting facing her. So I was like sitting back and she was sitting like, just say hypothetically like 12 seats ahead of me. But the way the seats are angled, we were facing each other. I'm on my phone. All of a sudden I look up and she's mouthing, fuck you. And I'm like looking around because I'm like, who is she? Who is she doing that to? Like who would she be cursing out like silently? And I'm looking around, there's like no one around me. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So I put my head back down and just whatever. And I look up again. And then she gives me the finger and she points at me. And I'm like, oh, she's talking to me. I was like, oh, okay. Whatever. I just ignore her. The following weeks, I kept seeing her. She kept – she was at the train station that I started at. And so I kept seeing her. I kept seeing her. It was one day. It was raining. And I was holding my umbrella and she jumped behind me and I jumped close towards the platform, like very, very close to falling off the platform. She jumped behind me to scare me. And I had my headphones in. I turned around and I screamed. And I I like looked at her and I was like, like, I didn't say anything to her, but I was like, what? Like, what just happened? And some guy next to me goes, oh, they're more of a danger to themselves than they are to others. And I go, I don't know about that because she just jumped behind me as yeah. I'm standing right in front of a raised platform. Yeah. Yeah, you could have fell. I could have fell. <clears throat> so we get to Penn Station and we're about to walk through the crosswalk. And I let her kind of like go ahead of me like I wanted to fall back. She walks in the crosswalk. There's a, another blonde woman, like a little blonde person walking. And she like 
beelines it, goes straight, and then makes like a sharp left turn and like body slams into this woman in the middle of the crosswalk in the city. And this happened for like a few weeks. Like she just kept doing things to me like that. And so I actually ended up taking a picture of her. Yeah. Because I I was like, oh, she's going to harm me. Like something's going to happen. Like she doesn't like me for some reason. And this picture was taken April 12th, 2016. Okay. April 12th, 2016. I'm going to show you. I've seen this. Yeah. Is what she looked like. It's wild that she was wearing a face mask. Yep. I, I mean, I know it's very normal now. It wasn't normal in 2016. It wasn't. And she just looked like a regular put together woman. It's not like she like looked as if she was, you know, some, but something was wrong. Well, with her. I remember because, oh, it was 2016. I, I remember you told me about this when we were working together. It probably lasted like a year. She was there for a while. Because I, I, I feel like I remember hearing it firsthand like it was happening, not that it mm-hmm. was like a, in the past. No, it, she, it was, it happened for a while. And then all of a sudden one day I just never saw her again. You just never saw her again. Mm-hmm. Oh, it oh. happened for like a very long time. For probably like a year not all the time like it wasn't every single day because otherwise it wouldn't have gone to a train station but it was often enough i was like what why do you, oh why do you not like me i don't like it why do you all. want to kill me <laughs> on a train platform and she was staring into your soul yeah from that picture that you took she was staring yeah. into your soul yeah and she's and- terrifying and the there's something is, about her that's terrifying like her energy gives so scary she was just so angry yeah. and what i found ironic was that she also the woman she body slammed in the crosswalk was blonde so i'm yeah, like maybe she just does like there's... a correlation there but i was like wow she really does not like me to the point where she would just like walk on the train and find a spot that she could like glare at me no no I've never seen this woman in my life mm-hmm. yeah it's giving unsafe for sure so yeah um okay this next story that i have is not my own personal story but it's a story that i found on tiktok and i kind of went a little bit down a rabbit hole with it Mm -hmm. um have you ever heard of andrew dawson no is it gonna ruin the story if i say no no no. okay no because i didn't know who he was okay no (laughs) i don't know who he is the other day and this showed up on my feed this girl telling the story so i'll just condense it as quick as i can and i went through his his tiktok and i I, to be honest i really started to get freaked out so i had Mm. to like stop Mm. so he is just like he he was on tiktok posting like funny videos like just being like kind of like your funny content creator um he lives in canada and one day he posts a TikTok where he's driving and he lives in an area where there's really big mountains mm-hmm. and he sees what l- appears to be a figure standing on top of the mountain, but he's miles and miles away from this mountain. And it's the the figure. It looks kind of like a person. You can see this TikTok if you want to. I, I'll, I'll get his, um, his TikTok handle and share it or whatever if anybody wants to go down this rabbit hole but um in the video it's the figure is huge so if it were to be a person you wouldn't be able to see a person of that scale that far away so it looks like a giant yeah and you can see it in the video so he's like videoing this he's like what the hell is that like freaked out by it um, and of course, the video goes like massively viral, viral, has like millions of views. So then now he kind of goes like investigative mode and he mm-hmm. gets like into it being like, I want to know what this was. Like he's kind of freaked out. So the next day he gets in his car. It's like 530 in the morning. He's going to go try to drive up closer to the mountain. God, you could not pay me to do I that. Know. I know. Like he got really invested. So uh, whatever. He goes through a series of <clears> – I was just kind of going through his videos where he's trying to go there. Um, he's videotaping it. He hasn't seen it again. One day he goes back and he videotapes a really weird light in the sky, very mm-hmm. similar to like where the location was. And he's like, what the hell is that? So like he's getting freaked out. Right. Right. And one day he tries to go there and there's somebody that's parked in front of the entrance to where you could actually start driving up the mountain. Um, It's like a public road and it looks like a the car. I mean, I don't know what their police cars look like in canada but it it looks like a dodge charger but Mm. unmarked is sitting in front and like he videotapes this like where you hear him talking to the guy and the guy's like oh sorry like this road is closed 
And he's like, okay, like whatever. So he's like, goes back to camera. He's like, okay, I can't go back up to the, I can't go up to the mountain, like blah, blah, blah. He's saying the road's closed. The next video you see is he's at his house and he goes to the window and he's like, hey, the guy that was at the mountain is at my front door, like the same car. So he goes out there and the car like zooms off super fast. So again, all of these videos are getting like millions of views and they're like, what the hell? Like what's going on? So then his next video he posts, and I think this is like a few weeks later. It's super creepy. He's like standing kind of like not in a way like he, a lot of times he's been, you know, recording his videos with him holding the phone. Yeah. This time he's kind of like standing back. It looks like somebody's either holding the phone for him or he has it propped up. And he basically goes on there. He's like, hey, guys, like, just want to let you know, like, all the videos I made were fake. Like, sorry. Like, but he's kind of his eyes are darting. And, like, everybody's like, what the hell? This is so weird. Like, it seemed like he was, like, not – something was off, right, yeah. with the video. And then he doesn't post for, like, two months or something like that. And then he posts another video where he's, like, walking around and he's like, uh, I don't think I'm ever going to post on here again. Um like something scary is going on or something like oh, that. Oh, I don't like that. Post that. Then his next video, he shows the mountain again and there's some sort of military base that mm -hmm. was built on top of the mountain exactly where he saw that giant. So he was like, what the hell is this? Like, oh, and there was another day where like he saw helicopters in the area airlifting something out. So there was something like going on and people were like, he saw something he wasn't supposed to see. And now he's – um, I couldn't get confirmation if he is deceased, but his wife is on TikTok, and she said, like, RIP, Andrew Dawson, like, I'll miss you forever, like, blah, 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 blah. So he's – but there's also been, like, other – articles that i read that he's disappeared so he's either deceased or disappeared and i wanted to go through like a reddit there's like a reddit forum about it and people are like it's a hoax like he just wanted to get like viral on tiktok but i was like i don't think that he just wanted to get viral on tiktok and then fake his death like if it's a hoax you know what I mean? So if it – like, the fact that he's – if he just was, like, still went on and, like, posted, like, normal, like, I would say, like, maybe it was fake. But the thing is that there's actual footage of what he's talking about happening. Like, you can see the giant on the mountain. You see the military base built on the mountain. You saw this weird light thing in the sky. I mean, yeah. I'm yeah, trying he, to look at it right now. His um, name on TikTok is um, – oh, sorry. Um, Hold on. If you want to get, like, super freaked out, like, go for it. I'm going to have to deep dive into this tonight. But, yeah, what happened to Andrew Dawson from TikTok? Um, oh, where wow. is his his actual handle? It's something – it's not Andrew Dawson. I mean, people are saying that it's, like, fraud and stuff like that. But I, I don't know. There's something that's really weird about it that just – doesn't seem right well coincidences like that aren't really coincidences you know like coincidences are one thing but yeah to stumble upon something and have it be weird and then you not there be was, around it's too much his his, his yeah. handle is um andy capped um okay. k-a-p-t Andy K A P T. Yeah. So his original video of the um it's a giant, that's what it says, and it shows the mountain has 19.6 million views. Um, and it's like freaking chilling. Like you can see, like if you look at the video, like there is like a, a figure that's on top of this mountain that if you were that far, you would not be able to see a person from that no. far away. No. No. So he saw something that and I don't now know. he's missing. Now he's missing or and or deceased. I was trying to find his obituary. I, I know it's really if, dark, but I wonder if he is quote unquote deceased, but there's no real evidence that he's deceased. I wonder if it's to protect his identity, like to protect him. That could be true also. Oh, I just because... got goosebumps. This is like the video of him, like the way he's standing. Yeah. When he's show like there's something and his eyes like kind of like dart back and forth. I don't like that. 
I it, don't like it's that. It's a really creepy story, right? Yeah. I'm going to have to deep dive into it tonight. Okay. But I Let don't me know enjoy, like what you – I don't think I enjoy this. <laughs> I, don't I know. Think... It, this is like I was deep diving it last night, like, and I was like, okay, I actually am getting – because there's something super sinister about it to me. Yeah. That's freaking me out. So, but I would love to kind of, I think there's actually a show on it um, from what I saw. And I would actually like to see the show, but. Mm. 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 You know, it's, <laughs> it's just stories like this that always keep you on high alert. You know, like all the stories oh. we're telling keep you on high mother effing alert. Like we are, senses are heightened here. Yeah, okay. for sure. Always be aware of the surroundings. Always be alert. If Always be alert. If something doesn't feel right, it's not it. Yeah. That's like I posted a TikTok recently about um, like the fear of being a human trafficked. Oh, God. Because <laughs> I like just – I feel like – No, I, you I, have to be careful. No, I'm serious. You have to be careful. Well, what's really scary is Florida is one of the biggest yeah, places I saw for that. it. And anytime I go to a public restaurant there, – restaurant? Restroom. There's always signs for it. Careful Help in the lines. restrooms. Yeah. yeah, you have to be careful. You have to be really careful in airports too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's dangerous. More so for women. I'm sure it can happen to anyone, but just women seem to be Ugh. the target of choice. Okay, we're diving into our, our first quote unquote Reddit one. <sighs> Should I go first? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clear the throat because I'm a little nervy. I know. I. <sighs> yeah, I know. These are weird. One day, the wife and I were preparing dinner in the kitchen. Our stairs sit right next to the kitchen entrance, so any noises upstairs were clearly audible into the kitchen. I turned off the water at the sink, and as soon as I did, we, birth we both heard a cough. We have no kids, and no one was visiting. The windows were shut, but the television was not on. This sent the coldest chill down my spine, and I could feel my blood running out of my face. I looked to my wife, and she had gone pale and had this absolute look of fear. Someone was in our house, and they were upstairs. I quickly grabbed the sharpest knife I could find, and my wife called the police. I walked to the bottom of the steps and stood silently and heard a loud pop slash creak, just like the ones I had heard before. My hands were shaking, and my wife was whispering to not the 911 operator, telling them we think we may have a robber in our home. The police arrive in minutes. Thankfully, they had been patrolling nearby. The officer walks slowly up the stairs, gun drawn. He calls out, this is the police. Is anyone upstairs? No oh response. God. I'm right behind him as we're walking up the stairs. We look into the first bedroom and closet, empty. No one in the bathroom either. The last room was my office where I had my computer. No one was in that room or the closet. I felt the tension ease away and felt like a complete tool for making this officer search the house only to find nothing. We turned to walk out of the room and right above us, a loud creak. I almost shat a brick. It's funny that you put that in there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in my office closet, there is an attic access. The officer pulls the steps down and again calls out. Is there anyone up there? This is the police. No response. He turns on his flashlight and peeks his head up. He finds a man in his 40s kneeling there in the attic looking dead at him. Gun drawn, he tells the man to come out and put his hands behind his head. They oh arrest the man. my God. He didn't say a word the whole time and would not look at anyone in the eyes. He was scruffy looking and had dirty clothes on. Me and my wife were freaking out. I don't think either of us have fully gotten over it since then. After questioning the man in the police station, we found out that he was a homeless man who found refuge in the house while it was still on the market. He said the doors Shut were unlocked, up. so he stayed up there. Apparently, a realtor must have forgotten to lock the door after showing someone the house. He said that is when he would have come into the house and he would hide in the second floor attic. We bought the house and the guy was living in it for a whole month without us knowing. It still freaks me out to this day. No shit. You this isn't – okay, this is not the first time I've heard a story like this. I don't like that. Because there was a really creepy story that this happened to some girls, I think. Really? And they're – they li I think it was like Chicago or something like that. They lived in like a – it was maybe a sorority house or a dorm house or something and they had a homeless man living in there. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's giving watcher. Oh, maybe it's... Maybe less cynical. Maybe less, you know, but like imagine – this person's living in your attic. 
for no. a whole month. No. You're walking around naked in your home, doing whatever you're doing in your home, and he's just being a peeping Tom? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I would feel so violated. I'm telling you, these houses have stories. Um, okay, so this one is titled Creepy Alexa Experience. No, I don't think I like this already. I know. So this happened about <laughs> So this happened about six or seven years ago when I got an Alexa for Christmas that year. My parents are old school. And my dad was strictly against having the Alexa even taken out of the box. It took months of begging and pleading before I could set it up with conditions, of course. It had to be in my room only, nowhere else in the house, just my room. When I was not speaking it to it or using it, it was either on mute or unplugged. Do not mm. talk personal matters around it. So like family matters, passwords, addresses were not to be said around the Alexa, even if it was muted. So with those rules and probably a few more, I got to set up my Alexa. I had discovered a while after having it that you could play some guessing games on it. Being an only child at home and bored 99% of the time, I use this feature a lot, like honestly, almost too much. One night while I was playing some guessing game and playing a game on my iPad, I had gotten a question wrong. I don't remember... The question or what I had answered, I only remember what Alexa said. It was something along the lines of, wrong, now listen close. Obviously, this catches my attention and I stop what I'm doing and I look at my Alexa. Right on cue, she continues in this horrifying whisper, raspy voice, don't look behind you. Needless to say, I plugged my Alexa, unplugged my Alexa and refused to use it for months slash years after that. Yeah, that, you know... <clears throat> no interest in having one of those no I interest. Uh, we have a lot of great technology in this world but it comes with a lot of unknowns okay like somebody could people i've heard people being able to hack into those kinds of things you have to be really careful with like um baby cameras like you should get yeah. ones that are not wi-fi yeah because it's, it's scary because you don't know like somebody probably hacked into this person's alexa I, I don't like that. Because that's – that the fact that it, like, changes – oh, creepy. Okay. This one's called Wedding in the Dark. Okay. An engaged couple planned to have their wedding reception at their absolute favorite restaurant. But on the day of the wedding, the bride tragically fell down the stairs and died. Oh, my now, God. Now, it said that every time after – every night after the restaurant closes, the ghost of the bride – walks down the stairs she fell from and sets up all the tables and chairs for the wedding for the wedding guest she never got to say so here come the tears oh so that's morbid but also creepy but i mean she's helping yeah also like how dangerous are those stairs uh, what do I want to? What do I want to <laughs> read next? <laughs> Maybe I'll just do a a light one. Sure, do a light one. Do a light one. This one says only. Uh, I think I, only thing to have survived was a USB stick with a weird photo. Okay, it says FYI, I've never in my life used Reddit, and I have no idea how it works. <laughs> Blast me neither. <laughs> Same. I've seen them. Okay, this is just them saying that they don't know what they're doing. Uh, okay, wait. They say, I'm not sure if I'll ever solve this, but my hands are open to receiving help. Thank you. About a year ago, after a fire in my home, I lost a lot of my things, including a big part of my house, although a few things did survive, but part of those being an old USB stick I never looked through, as I had no reason, so I just kept it in a drawer with old junk like broken cabinets. I was sorry, broken cables, not broken cabinets. Yesterday, I went through it to discover a strange photo of a dog. I don't have and never had a dog. No one I knew or has or had a dog. And I've been living alone for about two and a half years. And this USB was brought one year into my still alone. Wait, I'm sorry. I think that they're saying is that they they bought this USB a year ago and they've mm -hmm. always been alone. Mm -hmm. It never has a photo. And I checked after purchasing to make sure I had my money's worth. This is very strange and I'm not sure what to think or even if or if it ever 
or uh, this person really can't write. I'm sorry. Some of these I was freaked out, so I kind of like couldn't read the whole thing. <laughs> um, I never even thought of looking through it until I got bored one evening and found it. I gladly post it, but I can't post pictures here, question mark. Anyway, I think that that's all the details. Maybe I, I'm not sure if something is missing. So please ask, as I'm glad that I was a one-time thing and I'm beyond confused as someone who never really believed on ghosts. So Isn't he, that weird? So he purchased a USB. He purchased a new USB, checked to make sure it was good to get his money's worth. And then he had a fire in his home. And most of the things burnt, except for this USB and some broken cables and I'm sure some other things. And for some reason, he checked the USB again after the fire and had a picture of a dog on it. It's weird, right? Do we know what kind of dog? No, he didn't give any details. But also, I'm like, do USBs just come with stock photos? <laughs> but he said he checked it. I don't know. He kind of was like, the way he was writing was a little hard to, but I just thought it was weird. I don't like that. Right? Because he said it was in his house, right? The dog was in his house? No, the dog. No. It just had a photo of the dog, but he's never. Just said a photo of the dog. He's never had a dog. He doesn't know anybody who has one. Odd, mm, right? I don't enjoy that. Yeah, I don't know. No, just seemed kind of especially like a USB because once it's out of something, there's no transfer. It's not Wi-Fi connected, so it's yeah, not it's like, like it's, how did it get there? There's no iCloud on USBs, so how did how did little Puppuccino get on there? Oh, I don't like that. I know, right? I don't me. know. Just kind of weird, right? Yeah, I don't like that. I thought it was a light one, so I thought I. <laughs> well, I also have. A light one. It's not funny. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be laughing at this one. But uh, sometimes it's, it's very short. So I'm just going to read it. Go ahead. I came home from work one day to my door partially open and my cat sitting on my porch. Internet Explorer opened on my computer. This was about four years ago, but I never used Internet Explorer and a shit in my toilet. The next day, someone burned down my house. Oh, no. I don't. I don't really know what you do with that. Oh my god! That's... Something happened there. That's... Yeah, that's that's not right. Something definitely happened there. Yeah. I feel like I have heard a lot of stories of people who feel like they're being watched. They come home and, and there'll be like a shit in their mm-hmm. toilet, or there's you know the toilet seats up and it's a woman living by herself, or like yeah. And I feel like in those instances, people probably think they're going crazy because they're like, I know I wouldn't have done this, but what is the yeah. other logical explanation for this? I, I had – when I used to work in the apartment industry, I had a couple come to the office once and tell me that they think that there was somebody coming into their apartment. Oh, I don't enjoy that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I tried to be as understanding as possible, but some of it was like a little – I mean, they were like – Unbelievable? Kind of. They were like some of our snacks were eaten. I don't know. I, I It seemed like I was trying I, – I don't know. I was trying to like get the story but also be like, okay, like – weigh it out um but i told them to get a camera and just make sure the doors are locked they, i wonder if they did that what eat their own snacks had... no get oh. a camera <laughs> Everyone eats i don't remember snacks. i think it was like the only time that they ever came and like told me that but they also they were interesting tenants to begin with so oh, i don't were I they? Don't, kind of I feel like you probably have a lot of weird stories like so that. So many interesting tenant stories. I know we originally we never released it, but we oh, did. Oh yeah, we did. We did do an episode. Why didn't we release that episode? I don't know. We can we maybe we can go back and re-listen to it. I don't know why we didn't. The vault. It. Go back to the our, vault. Our, go our back graveyard to the, of our episodes. Gra- <laughs> we can go back to the graveyard. I don't yeah, know we why did we- do an episode yeah. about like some of my creepy tenant stories or just like yeah. crazy stories that I've had with when I was working in the apartment industry. Yeah, we should actually we should revisit that. I don't know. Yeah, because some of them are one. kind of like wacky. Like there's yeah. one that's so wacky. Which one was it? The one with the um... well, yeah, the guy that I mean, he low key assaulted, like verbally assaulted me. But oh yeah, um, I forgot about that one. There was like this other guy that was like living and like he was like had like gold coins under his bed and like guns and stuff and it's just weird. Like, yeah, Renee just... has a lot of. But a lot a lot of of, some of the stuff was, like, really sad. Like, we had a hoarder 
Oh, hoarding, I think, is some type of um, really mental illness, I think. It was really sad. Yeah. We did um, trainings on hoarding specifically, and it's really? so sad. Yeah. Because you have to – you have to. It, it, it's a mental illness, so you have to treat it as such, and you can't yeah. just – but at the same time, it, it can damage, like, the property. So it's just – it was so sad. Oh, my God. Some of these things were just so – you're just, like, dealing with people that – this is, like, their dwelling. So it's just, like, what? Anyway, I won't – Yeah. No, but. that's that's giving weird energy for sure. Um, Let me see if I have another good one. I'll read oh, one I have more. one that's kind of okay, short. Okay, yeah. Um, so it says, PlayStation 2 recorded me and my friends. Mm. I know it's – I know it's easy to assume that this was some kind of normal te technological occurrence, but if you understand how the technology was back then, then you would understand how odd it was. When I was around 10, me and my two friends were having a sleepover playing some racing game or something called Underground 2 or 3. It was a small, cheap TV, and it was a PlayStation 2, which was the best system at the time. I'm assuming this is like early 2000s. Mm. We were playing the game in free mode, just speeding around the city and would... And would then watch the playback of what we did. There was this one time we made a huge jump off a ramp. Sorry, I don't know why it's funny. <laughs> we made a huge it's jump off the all. ramp and we yelled and laughed like, oh, holy crap, haha. When we played it back, we heard ourselves at the part where the jump was made. And we all looked at each other in utter awe at how this just happened. We were like, dude, it recorded us. This was just a regular PS2 on one of those small TVs where you could change the color to black and white by a knob. So that's like I fully understand. So like basically like so I remember when I used to play PlayStation like you could rewatch <sighs> your like what you did, like your tricks yeah. and stuff, but when they rewatched one of their things, they heard their voices back in the recording. And oh, that's, that's like, not supposed to do that, right? No, and like this is like way back in the day there's no like Mike, you couldn't talk. You couldn't talk to the Ew, machine. You I don't know? like that. I don't like that. Sorry, I have know? a lot of weird technological stuff. Yeah, but... she's giving technological paranoia. Yeah, paranoia well, I just said USB PlayStation Alexa. Yeah. I have. Yeah. But... Oh, I don't enjoy that. No. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Um. Do you have another shorter one, or is that up? Um. I don't really think any of the other ones I have kind of beat the ones I said. Um, although I will say if you guys are looking for some creepy Netflix binges, Cecil Hotel. Ooh. Cecil yeah. Hotel. Didn't you fall asleep when we were watching that together? I knew you were not over that. I knew she wasn't over. I knew you were going to say that just Because I wanted to like <laughs> deep dive it with you and you just fell asleep. Well, well we already – well, we independently watched it once and then I just get tired and I'm like, good night um cecil hotel is a good one yeah the watcher is a good one yeah um oh you know ones? what movie i watched recently get out mm, i haven't seen that one i could watch it though watch it the watch haunting it. of hill the haunting of hill house okay that one is like real really not okay Really well, if unwell. you if you need something light, like Casper is always good. <laughs> Halloween Town is good. Halloween Town's good. Halloween Town's, Halloween Town's rich. Um, what other Hocus, Hocus Pocus. Pocus? Yeah. Um, that might be it for like Loose Goose. Yeah. Oh, also, if you kind of want to watch like a psychological thriller, Bloodline on Netflix <clears throat> is pretty good. Okay. Bloodline. And yeah, I think that's uh, those are only the top ones I have. But that's stay it. safe out there, guys. Stay, <laughs> stay safe and watch your sex. Hopefully, we didn't spook you out too much. Ooh, but I'm gonna do it all day today. <laughs> anyway, happy deep dive in that Andrew. <laughs> sorry, deep dive in that Andrew <laughs> Dawson story though, and let me know. No, what I'm going to. Are. Okay, because I would I love to. I would love to chat with you about that. Cause... Yeah, I will. I'll do that tonight when I'm supposed to be sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder why I can't sleep. It's because I do stuff like that right before I go to bed. <laughs> but, um, anyways, happy Halloween, friends. Spooky, spooky. Stay safe. Watch your sex, and we will talk to you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh God, it's scary. Okay, yeah, it was. <laughs>